So when the Gates Foundation got started, we made malaria one of our top priorities. Funding research to understand the disease and how to create lots of new tools, and then taking those tools and actually getting them out and saving kids' lives. There is some progress. Overall, malaria deaths have fallen by 20%. So how do people get infected with malaria? Well, it starts with a mosquito that actually has malaria, and when it bites a person, it spreads malaria to them. And then if another mosquito comes along and bites that person, then that mosquito is infected. And now that mosquito can infect another person. So it's a cycle of going back and forth between people and mosquitoes. So during the peak of the malaria season in Africa, you have massive number of mosquitoes that have malaria in them. And you have a massive number of humans that have the malaria in them. And so worldwide, every year, you have about 250 million cases. And so our goal is to get that number down as much as possible. In fact, the goal is to get it all the way to zero malaria cases, to eradicate malaria. Now, how would you go about that? Well, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have less of these mosquitoes biting people, making them sick. And that's where bed nets come in. They both block the biting and they kill mosquitoes. You spray, spray the walls of your hut. That also kills mosquitoes. And we have a new tool coming, this gene drive that'll change mosquitoes so that populations go down. As we apply these three tools, there's way less of these mosquitoes in the environment. Now we can also drop the cases by protecting humans. Ideally, we'd get a long-acting vaccine, and we don't have that yet, or another type of drug, the monoclonal antibodies. Instead of people being infected, you can say that they're just completely protected, and so they're outside this pool of infection, and that means that they're no longer the source of the parasite going back into the mosquito. And so that is very, very helpful. And then for the balance of the people, you wanna find them, diagnose them, and treat them. And if you do that well, every year, get less and less cases. And eventually, you get the numbers to be small enough that it all drops down. You literally have zero cases. For every year thereafter, you're saving millions of lives.